Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. What is Well Fusion Overlay? Well Fusion Overlay is a procedure that was developed by the industry to replace worn away materials on your shaft. Uh, you'll have your packing plans, your stern bearings, intermediate bearings, any of your cutlass bearing areas can develop wear over a period of time uh, due to uh, abrasions in the water like sand. Uh, I'd like to enlighten you a little bit on, on this procedure so that uh, you have a worn out area on your shaft. It may save you from send, uh, spending your uh, big bucks on, on a brand new shaft. Uh, the procedures do incorporate a certain amount of time and uh, it's a semi-lengthy uh, process so not every shaft is a good candidate uh, for this process to save money. Uh, if you brought in a one inch shaft and, and I had to rebuild four or five inches of, of uh, shaft there, um, you, you're going to be spending more money with me doing the procedure than, than you would be replacing the shaft. So you got to keep that in mind. I'd like to go ahead and uh, give you a, a glimpse of, of how this process is done and uh, the quality that it replaces that material on your shaft. Oh, this extreme wear right in here measures out to be one nine hundred, a hundred thousandths under two inch. The allowable tolerance that I feel that any undercut should be would be two percent of the shaft's diameter, which would be forty thousandths. We're uh, we're a little bit more than double that loss right now in the in the shaft material itself. Okay, our laid out lines here, uh, this is where we're going to start to cut. We're only a few thousands under here, but if we're going to be welding this in here, uh, let's go ahead. We found good diameter on the shaft here, or as good as we can for the you know, next six inches or so. And right here is the extreme uh, point of depth there. And we're going to go just a little bit past that. So we're, we're just going to be giving ourselves a uniform diameter to work with. So we're going to be taking away from here and we're going to bring it down to close to this diameter right here. Okay, now we're uniform from here to there. We got a nice lead in and lead out on this side here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just do a polish on both sides here so that we got uh, nice uh, clean materials. And uh, we're gonna get it in there and uh, we're gonna start prepping it for uh, adding the material. Okay, uh, we got the shaft set up here. Our roller on this end and our uh, wall positioner on this end here. And we're going to start uh, getting our area that we're going to be working on here preheated.
Okay, uh, we got the first layer on here, and I'm gonna put two on here because even though it looks like you've got enough buildup at both ends here, uh, this was this was a hundred down. Normally on this side diameter, you know, getting down to your um, forty thousands, fifty, sixty thousands. Sometimes you can get it in one pass. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lay a second pass on here to ensure that there's enough material here when we get done machining.
Looks like we got pretty good coverage on there. Uh, two inch uh, 100. And we got 50,000 per side. That feels good. That feels good. All right. Two inch fifty thousandths. And we got a good clean center there. Doing good. We're just gonna take it down a little bit more. Then we gotta take it out and uh, heat straighten it so that we know that we're within about ten thousandths now because we put on the rollers before we got it in the lathe here. And uh, and that was uh, that was that was a good close weld. Even weld, right preheat. Um, that'll that'll keep it running straight. down to size. Just gonna polish and blend these in a little bit. Okay, we got one little spot there. It's probably no bigger than the rest of the little hammer dings around here. That one. Anyway, we got a good seal diameter right there. And the shaft's good to go. Just looking at our setup of uh, putting the keyway or extending the keyway down to where we want to have full contact in the coupling there. Uh, this is where they cut off the shaft and so th they've lost their keyway and that's not enough to run the coupling properly so we're gonna we're gonna put that in there we've already faced uh, off their saw marks and uh, chamfered it and put the center drill uh, in there so that we can run it in the lathe after we're done this shaft uh, we fit and face the coupling and uh, he's all set now uh, so his modifications to the shaft are weld repair right here in this worn out area all disappeared uh, shafts ready to go so if you think you got something that's a little extreme on the wear come and see us here at turn right get it done